always a Marine. It's not just a slogan. For most of our vets, war is with them forever. Battered and broken, many suffer from depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and have trouble transitioning to life at home. But as Local 8 reporter Kate Burgess shows us, there's a farm in East Tennessee where vets are helping vets heal wounds and find peace. John Welch fought in Operation Iraqi Freedom. It was a mixture of excitement, um, terror, and fun. A mixture, a rush he craved after he got home. First thing I got involved with was things that sped me up, got me the excitement of war, such as cocaine. And it progressed to where I, I, I realized that I was in a lot of pain as well, so then I started to get involved in uh, painkillers and, and heroin. Adding to the grief he already felt. I have really bad back pain, I uh, suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, and I have uh, some kind of unknown stomach condition. Feeling lost, he came to the Beatty Farm to the camaraderie of other Marines. Well, you've got to have an environment they're comfortable with and around people that can understand the things that you saw. And here, once again, he has his former commander, Alan Beatty, looking out for him. Beatty wasted no time putting Welch to work mixing concrete. It didn't agree with him. Nothing did. He was in withdrawal. Couldn't go 15 minutes without throwing up. So he was in really bad shape. He, he was uh, in and out of consciousness. He, he would pass out. He, he actually fell in the foyer of the house and passed out and hit his head on the floor and uh, gave him a black eye. And, uh, he uh, he was really, really in bad shape. Uh, it's, I've never seen anybody quite that bad. But he's seen about a dozen other Marines come here and recover, like former platoon mate Keith Hull, who's helping build the wilderness camp for Marines suffering from PTSD. Hauling wood may seem like an everyday activity for some people, but for these guys, it keeps them busy and helps them forget the horrors of what they saw. It's called War Vet Village. This house, only the first. They hope to be able to put up dozens of vets at a time. They're actually out doing something. Uh, they're building a house. They're, they're farming. They're riding a horse. Uh, they're being energetic. They're not just sitting in a circle uh, in a therapy situation in a clinic. They've already cleared this whole area for a new trailer, which will serve as their headquarters as they bring War Vet Village into its next phase. In Oneida, I'm Kate Burgess, VLT Local 8 News. And once they get the trailer set up, Beatty hopes to be able to house five or six more vets and put them to work building cabins for the camp.